Michael O with TSB Smart Spaces. We're looking at Ketra again. Uh, I showed earlier how uh, you have these different form factors from Ketra, um, but let's talk a little bit about the control aspect. So compare it against your traditional fixture. This is just a Home Depot uh, track light. Of course, it turns on when you get power. It turns off when you don't have power. Ketra is a little bit different in the sense that when you wire these up, you want to make sure that these fixtures have power 100% of the time. Now that doesn't mean they're on 100% of the time, but it means what's inside here, which is a processor and a wireless transmitter, is getting power all the time and allows it to communicate with a bridge that controls whether or not the light engine is on and how that's being used. Is it being used for full spectrum light, for natural light, uh, for white tuning, etc.? All of that intelligence is built in as well as the communication. So that means from a wiring perspective, it's actually much easier you just need to get power to a fixture. It doesn't matter whether it's coming from a, a switch on the wall or a central panel or a location. All the rest of the communication and control is handled wirelessly. That wireless communication happens on a spectrum that's not Wi-Fi. So this is not using any of the highly congested uh, frequencies in a home, um, but allows it to be very well controlled, synchronized together. So you can have many of these units, they operate like a zone of light, but it actually can be individually controlled. So that's a little bit more about catcher control and how that works.